Alrighty, thank you. Um, it's been an extremely busy time in the wards of late, I think with uh, summer happening, um, that, that's one of the reasons. Um, the Redwood Plunkett Rooms project, this is much awaited and anticipated in the ward. What we're finding around this area is that there is almost an organic growth as far as community uh, involvement and interaction goes with the library and so forth. So um, this is a really positive way of supporting that. Um, the St Albans Park and... St Albans Park, the pavilion there has been demolished and the um, turf upgrade I think is currently out for tender so that's getting underway in the new year. We have asked for some big signage to go up on the fences around the area so that the public are aware of what's going on and are kept informed, so that's exciting. And what's been really important here is that communication, so that the board has been uh, pretty insistent uh, that letterbox drops happen around the area to residents because of course there will be there was vibration and noise from the demolition and this is a, still a pretty stressed um, community, but that's great news uh, that that started. This is one of the events that occurred and occurs annually now in the ward, this is uh, sort of an alternative to Halloween if you like and that was well attended. Shirley Shine again and is a very popular event uh, at McFarlane Park so you can see the space there that the community centre will be supporting and that again is very well attended. I think the weather was good this year too which always makes, makes a difference. Uh, the Gala Day and this was down at uh, the Beulah Church on Springfield Road. Uh, very strong links with the community and again council staff involved in that. Actually I just want to say that a lot of these activities do take place at the weekend and so again council staff are very involved and we appreciate that. The leadership day was probably one of the best if not the best. This is our, how many years have we had it now? Four? Five? Five. Four. Four. We missed one because that's right. So again, this was really lovely and the ward staff were just fantastic at, at promoting and putting this together. Uh, that design for the logo came from the ward staff as well and we used that through all of the promotional material. Uh, the, uh, some of the board and councillors attended during the day. Um, we had some fantastic feedback, this one here from uh, Tony from Community Development Services and really the other feedback we had echoed uh, the same thanks. We gave all of the participants, those involved, a plant and a card signed from all of the board members and that card had the um, leadership day and it's good on the hood repeated as well. The Main North Road proposed changes? Um, these are some big changes proposed for Main North Road to take away a whole lot of street parking to create more bus lanes down towards Hewood Road. Um, it's been out for consultation and I think it's coming to us beginning of next year. There were 200 submissions, so it's a biggie and people were concerned about it. So we'll see what happens there. Yeah, that, that will be a, a big issue in our ward with a number of businesses. The road issues and pavement issues continue to be a problem in our ward as, as we have raised with you before. Um, I took these walking around the block um, and I took about nine in total and they are absolutely indicative of what we're seeing with the deep channel, uh, damaged pavement, um, cracks. Uh, and this, this is all uh, age and earthquake, so not tree damage as we do see in our ward a fair bit. One of the problems is that we are finding uh, when snaps in solves or other complaints are sent through with regards to the roads. We've had one back this week I did saying that the damage on the road was too great for the contractor to repair and that actually it required more serious work. They have managed to put some infill um, there to temporarily bog the hole but the holes are just getting bigger and they're getting worse and there are more of them. So we would actually reiterate our request for, uh, we believe a city-wide audit is needed, very similar to almost the Google van driving around, to be honest. We need to see where this damage is um, and see how bad the damage is to prioritise instead of just working off spreadsheets. It's been a fantastic year in the ward. Um, the engagement has increased, I think, and we are using social media far more and very effectively. Our Facebook page is putting work notices online, we're getting response from that. People are showing us road problems, they're showing us positive um, photographs of events as well. So the Facebook page is very, very effective and I know other wards 
are somewhat nervous, either elected members or staff or both, of getting into that social media area, and I think it's something we need to be very positive and strategic about and get on with across the whole city for the community boards. Did, was there anything else you wanted to add? Thank you. Very good. Well, that's a, an excellent report. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I presume Mike would like to move that it be received and Pauline would like to second it. I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank, Thank you. Have you. a good